ya mo obi bia kwa ba de ba smart gana update so we a e, news update for frokra ne de ba be som mo abusia na no hini to we minim se obeka se e bia bitterness se ni amamfo ne ta ka che ni se he is speaking out of bitterness ne dia e san se ochiri mo a se obe creative free sss na o pese amamfo ni gina so de to aba ma o na nso so ensu amamfo no nom no ba bia wa creative free sss no e ade se enya a absolutely nonsense and abuse 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 rubbish I was here, na no hini to chile mwa, ono die, obe kan, a kan si su pein se, ni nina borders on leadership ya, waka kan, 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 esan se, ni pana, o chile mwa, e de galam si, she, nin se, a opesu o chile se, o de ni presidency, e betu on the line, no, e adie se, wanyo ubiya, waya a man of his words, esan se, an shansi yon po en free galam si, ho, wasi sa, en waka che, alan se, e adie se, alan kojo che matin, jay mamen ko, na, edu 2024, e adie se, wo ena ebe chusu as the next mpp flag bearer o se ama so sa sa ezo so no sa so ka se e ade se galam se o the presidency e beto on the line e dru ho na so tu 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 asie na zenye ya o the presidency no e beto ono o se up to now still ah na na do dan kwa akofo ado ogusu e ye president enu eno o se e se ebrane adru no enye mpp ndc sem e se e se ehwe leader krona ye chusu no ama na ba be di o man ga na nim no and now, if you create a free school in the Chufuprasu area, and this is the water that the children in the Chufuprasu area have to drink, how long will they live <laughs> to even to benefit, benefit from, your from the education that you've given them? It's absolute nonsense. It's mm -hmm. absolute rubbish. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about our lives as a nation and talk about the responsibilities of leadership. And I'm happy... Honorable Kofi Adam spoke about leadership and the failure of leadership. The evidence of failure of leadership in Ghana today mm -hmm. is humongous. Mm -hmm. Every single aspect of our lives you go to open to discuss, there's a crisis. And people in MPP, people in political circles, people in political parties who want to be voted want Ghanaians to behave as if all of us are stupid and they are the wisest people they are the people who know everything because they have political power I don't think so I think it's my friend Martin who said the fact that you become a political leader doesn't suddenly make you wise mm, yeah. and make you suddenly knowledgeable yeah. more than everybody yeah. else yeah. simply because you have power today yeah. so tomorrow if you leave office then you also become stupid yeah like all of us who are not in power. But really, that's not the point. Alfred, this matter of Galamsey, I have said it, and I will preface my submission with that statement again. The other time, when people watch me on the TV, they say it was too emotional. Oh, you were perfect. Mm -hmm. It's not about said, it's oh, great. Ah. So, the, so no, 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 now no. I have tried, <laughs> oh, no, and no, no, I would no, deliberately... No. No, I, no, I, I, let me bring no, this. I, I it's not so far one said that. The thing it's just hit me. The and thing just hit me. You are corrupt. Please, the there's thing, nothing like emotional. The thing hit me so hard, ah. and now I want to go non-emotional. But oh. let me repeat the same words. If MPP wins this upcoming election under the current circumstances of corruption, of galamse, and of economic mismanagement and hardships, Ghanaians are finished. They will never respect Ghanaians anymore. Yeah. Yeah. They will become more and more impudent and brazen yes. in whatever. Mm -hmm. The arrogance of power will be totally uncontrollable. Yeah. We'll flee. And we'll flee I am repeating country. it. <laughs> I am not by this statement saying NDC clear, obviously is the better choice. I believe we need an independent. But we are talking about the people who have their hands on the levers of power today. The other time I said the president is not a man of honor and somebody said I had insulted him. I have not insulted him. I am saying it again. President well, Okufado is not a man of his word. On, okay. He's based not a man of his on word. What? One. On one. Mm -hmm. He told Alan Chematin at Legon, 2007. Mm -hmm. Once I become president and I'm leaving office, I will support you, I will help you. He has done the very opposite. Thank you. And you done everything to undermine Alan Chamatin's effort, first of all, to become 
candidate for MPP, secondly to but become but president that's, of Ghana. That's a conversation we can have. No, no, that's. A, but I'm telling you what I know. Wait, wait. Let, 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 let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Secondly, the, the and the <laughs> biggest one, the biggest one, <laughs> is this Galamse matter. That if I am not able to fight Galamse, I will be ready to put my presidency down. The president has failed to fight Galamse. He has failed to put his presidency down. He is not a man of his word. He is not a man of honor. Mm -hmm. This is not an insult. If you consider this an insult, well, I'm sorry about that. If anybody considers this an insult, then we are not ready to live mm -hmm. with principles in this country. We will live with sentiments and boot licking. Mm -hmm. And it will get us deeper into the mess that we find ourselves. If a president says, this evil of Galamse is so bad, I commit my life to it. I commit my presidency to it. Is it just a matter of just telling us words? I'll come to the substantive matter. Now, I heard this story about drip equipment, and there is a fight over them in one of the OT constituencies. Equipment that have been brought recently by the government to try and help improve rural roads. They call it district road improvement project. Mm -hmm. They send a lot of uh, bulldozers and excavators or whatever, road construction equipment. First of all, for me, it is one of the things that governments or political parties do just to insult the people. This government has been around for eight years. Three months to election. You send equipment to go and level out rough roads just to let the people feel that their roads are being done. My hometown, Manfitu Late, Late to Ayukuma, for the longest while it's been totally unmutrable. A few weeks ago, two, three days ago, one week ago, two weeks ago, they put machines there, they are trying to, because election is coming. I'm telling you people at Late, Nana Siduoko, you are my senior brother. I should have been sitting on that stool. But we all supported you. you I am telling you, and an agent from Latte, a Kwapim Binkum stool. A Kwapim Binkum is a divisional stool. You should have been sitting. Personally, I could be the chief, but I opted to go into politics. I see. Yes. Anyway. So I'm speaking directly to my brother, Nana Siduoko, and an agent from, and my compatriots in Latte, and Manfi. Don't get fooled. Because they brought equipment to gravel, grade the road, two months, three months to election. What was happening to our lives all these years? When some of our people went hard to lobby, to beg, I know how much the former GRA boss, Amisha Dai, tried to do. Even when he was the GRA boss and he went and lobbied, they didn't mind him. GRA boss, he goes to lobby for five kilometers, seven kilometer road to his hometown to be made. Nobody minded him. Today, two weeks to election, one month to election, the latter people should vote against MPP. If you vote for MPP, it's up to you. Okay. Why? Why do we allow people in political power to treat us as if we are the scum of the earth when we give the power? Excellent. So anyway, let me come to Galamsey again. I have been once to the desert in Mauritania and Libya. And as far as the eye can see, you don't see one green at all. You don't see any green. Apart from the oasis where Gaddafi took us and the oasis where the president of Mauritania at the time took us, once you step out of the oasis and you get, and we drove into the desert proper. Now, after you see that, when we flew back to Ghana, and I go down, I see green on the road, even if it's just ordinary bush, it feels like money. It is a feeling that I got. I said, wow. Now, God endows us with all of these resources. And today, Ghana is still considered developing, even poor, overburdened with debt. If you are by bedden with debt, you are a poor country. We are worse than Hippic now. And we have destroyed it to the extent that a whole region. Now, Ghana Water has announced that as for central region, if we don't take care, 
there will be water crisis if the crisis hasn't already started. Mm. And the reason, Galamsey. Well, in fact, they, they put out that statement and not to interrupt you, yes. respectfully. Yes. This is how bad the situation yeah, let's, looks like. Let, yeah. I want to ask you, uh, the, the Chifopraso area, that water flows through to the central area. To that the is, beach. This is it. Yeah. This is just the summary of the Ghana Water Company statement in central region. The suitable level for the NTU, that's a nephilometric turbidity, it measures the turbidity level. 2,000 NTU. It should have been 2,000. That's the suitable level yeah. of turbidity for them to treat the water. Mm -hmm. Now, guess what? The current level there hmm, is 14,000. And That's this is just stability. Yes. They are not talking about the other mm. chemicals, mercury, and all those things that is and in the water. See, if, if water is clean, it doesn't mean there's, there's not there is not, there's no polluted. Right, right. There's, there's, right. If, if, <laughs> this is green, just stability. Yeah, the be, level of yeah. mud, what you, let's call it simply mud, mm -hmm. at the chest, over 600% mm -hmm. more than what it should be there. 14,000 nephilometric turbidity is what they are having to deal with. Mm -hmm. So this is the scientific and technical evidence of what is happening on the ground in one region. We don't know about what is happening in Ashanti region and the other areas, eastern region, where Desu also is a source of water for treatment to be used domestically. I mean, those who live in the western part of Accra, yeah. they know that but for a certain arrangement that was done where there is a, a certain kind of a loop where Ghana water takes some of the water from Volta, the Volta Basin. Initially the arrangement was that my information was that the water from the, the Volta area used to serve the eastern part of Accra and then the water from Densu would be so used to the serve western the western part yeah. of Accra. And for the whole time, even then people used to complain about the effects of the use of chemicals in the fishing on the Dinsu River. Yeah. So sometimes when you cross over, my brother lives in the western part, Dansuma area. When you go to Dansuma area and you drink the water, it tastes differently from the water you drink in Cantumens, East Ligon, and the rest of it. So there was an arrangement. I don't know whether engineering-wise I'm speaking the truth, but my information was that there was this arrangement where some of the water from the voter treatment is mixed with the water from the uh, western side so that the water will be uniformed and then the people in the west can get better quality water even at that time efforts were being made to improve the quality of the water mm -hmm. today if the scientists and the technicians are telling us that the water cannot be treated anymore because of Turbidity. It means that very soon, the people in central region, we should make arrangements to import water either from the Volta site or from abroad. <laughs> Go, say, yeah, we have to we have to find some dollars. We have to find dollars to import water, and gradually, the way the thing is going, if you don't get a government that clearly has the political will. A leader, a person, not a political party, a person, a person, a leader who would be prepared genuinely to put his presidency on the line. And it's the MPP and the NDC haven't shown that? For me, they haven't, really. You see, because it's now not, they, they haven't. It's not MPP now, and NDC. It's, it's MPP. MPP. It's MPP and NDC. Because you see, now when you take corruption, they are telling you this one is just a little more corrupt than we used to be. When you take Galamse, oh, they pushed it beyond the limit that Kofi Adams was just saying, oh, where we, when we were there, there was Galamse, all right, there was pollution, all right, but now they've taken it to a higher level. When you so take no, economic no, no. If mismanagement... If you listen to my statement No, Kofi, no, no, can no, you? No, I just, you? That's because you quoted me. Uh, no. If you listen to my statement... I wanted to clearly. interrupt you then, but no, I decided but no, not I to. said, oh, even oh, if oh, I oh, want oh, to oh, accept oh, his oh, position... Yes. Okay. So you are a journalist, but, you know, well, I was going to say, even if I want to accept... I am not admitting that he was speaking the truth. No, but I am saying that that was the case. So then don't use me. 
<laughs> Don't use me to okay. validate, okay. validate okay. the okay. point you okay. want to make. Well, let me even move from, from the environmental thing. And in any case, with the environment, Kofi Adams was talking about green. This Mahama government, Savannah region, the 250 million Ghana cities, also 35 million or so, to go and plant trees. I have the statistics here. Instead of one point something million trees, or 50 million trees, this SADA business, what happened? All the money was paid. It was still an environmental thing. It is all part of this issue. It was a huge scandal up to today. There was no tree. The money was paid. It is the environment. That is why I am telling you that we need a different kind of leader now. Because when you take Galamsey, we are in crisis. When you take economy, we are in crisis. When you take law, enforcement, governance, we are in crisis. Indiscipline, we are in crisis. Our own mindset as a people, we are in crisis. Now, you cannot talk about mindset change when the leader is not exemplifying a certain kind of change and mentality which is positive. Now, Ghanaians have gotten to the point where the politicians will talk. We'll look at them. If they talk and they'll go and do different things, we also do different things. When they come and arrest us, we'll fight the police. And we'll fight the military. And we'll kill some of them. Well, well but you see, Nana. No, no, I'm telling well. you the attitude, the reaction. Okay. I'm just telling no, you. It's, it's, yes. I just needed to be clear that yeah. it's not as though you are saying to, to as to were condone or support. No, but I'm telling you, that is what will right. happen. Oh, that is what is happening. But ah, it is didn't you? good to say it is not right. Of course, it is not right. But okay. you see, I am telling you yes. something. Let's right. not shy away from these realities and pretend. You see? You see, people talk about the public responsibility, and it is a very big one. But you see, if you check how democracy works, democracy works by taking the power of the majority of the people, and then you concentrate it in one person or a few. Once you have done that, what you have done is that you have basically surrendered the management of your life to the government, at least at the social level. Of course, psychologically, everybody is responsible for their own lives as an individual. But when consistently, just because the people have political power, which you invested in them anyways, they are showing you such impudence, such disrespect, disrespect even for the law that they themselves are supposed to enforce. What are you left with? So that is the point and the perspective from which I am addressing this matter. So we have an issue where, and I don't agree with Kofi Adams that we, uh, environment is not political. Environment is a political matter. In fact, the level of discussion that has made it negative is the partisan MPP NDC. But environment is a political matter. Food is a political matter. Water is a political, everything that has to do with our lives. The negativity now that we're experiencing about how to deal with these issues is the MPP NDC duopoly that has precluded all other level-headed discussions to the extent that now we cannot even talk about food, we can't talk about health, we can't talk about road, if it is not MPP and DC. That is where the danger is now. So I am sorry, but I cannot stop returning to the fact that where we are today, with Galamse, with corruption, with economic mismanagement, with the arrogance of power, Ghana needs a completely new leader.